Hi everyone, Jana Boyer here, and this is part two of my Timu haul. Sorry that my last one crapped out um, <laughs> on the video. I ran out of memory. I forgot to uh, clear my cache and take some things off my phone, and so I ran out of memory. So here's part two, but there's so much stuff, you know, it was probably good. Um, I had somebody on Facebook, as you know, ask me, is this like a scam? They were afraid that this was just some kind of you know, deceitful type of um, shop to try to separate you from your money. This is absolutely not. So many people love this. My cousin said she got Christmas gifts from um, Timu, um, clothes, earrings, kitchen appliances. I haven't even went down that way. Jewelry. I basically just stayed at paper crafts and, you know, mixed media art. But, you, oh my gosh, there is so much stuff on this um, site. And it comes quickly. I ordered um, all my stuff February 10th, and they all arrived February 17th, if you can believe that. So if you haven't seen part one, it's the video before this, go ahead and take a look. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open the rest of the stuff. I was sorting some of the things last night. I got some storage from Michael's yesterday when I was out shopping. So I was kind of like separating and storing, and I'm just so impressed with the quality. Okay, these are paper snippets, and they look burnt and torn. And if any of you use like Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink, you know how you know it takes some time to do the edges. And this is kind of already done for you. Sure, there's still some white, so you still maybe want to do it. But the cool thing is, look at that. They look like burnt pieces of text. So this would be so cool for um, collage, junk journaling, ATCs, ACOs, mixed media um, canvases. I was going to be doing a Nancy Drew one. I got these vintage Nancy Drew postcards that are like images of her covers. And so this would be really great in the background to make like a Nancy Drew, like, ooh, like a snippet of a mysterious letter or something. But isn't that cool? Here's some more paper snippets. Now it looks wrinkled, but I'm not sure if it's actually wrinkled paper or the illusion of, so that'll be interesting. Aha, uh -huh. it's the, oh, and look at these cute little backings that come with this. So you could totally use these in junk journaling as well for ATCs. I mean, look at that, or, you know, cover the back a little, make a journaling card. I mean, isn't that adorable? So yeah, it looks like, there's holes burnt through and it looks wrinkled and it looks like it's either deco edged or tear or torn, but no, they're just snippets of paper. And again, I can't remember the prices on everything because they don't put them on the back of the tags, at least not the ones I have, but I'm pretty sure these were like 89 cents. I mean, look at that. See how it looks kind of burnt. This almost looks like a snippet of Braille, I think. I mean, just such cool, neutral colors, you know? Excellent, obviously, for vintage. But, you know, just like different tears out of it, holes, you know, faux burnt edges, wrinkles. Awesome. Now, I saw this from somebody else's haul, and I was like, what in the world? These are vintage... I'm not sure if they're just postcards or advertisements or what, but I believe they're like vintage um, advertisements, maybe? Oops. Now see, I have this opened, and they're just not coming out easy. Remember I said in the last video how I was irritated that some of these women doing these Timu hauls <laughs> were taking forever, <laughs> and there I go. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this might, yeah, this must be like, um, reproductions of vintage ads. Oh, wow. And they're like postcard quality. So you could use these for journaling cards, um, tape it and flip it up for like a hidden journaling tuck section. Oh, we could even make a journaling pocket out of that. That'd be so cool for, um, there's a lot of food related, so that would be really cool for like a vintage cookbook, which I had planned on doing. I actually have quite a bit of vintage cookbook pages. But look at these. I mean, and like I said, these are like postcard qualities. These aren't just like little papers. Really, really 
awesome stuff. Oh, and there's even these, like these little um, color dot stickers that go with it. How neat is that? And then I think I got another one. Yeah. This looked like it would be a vintage cookbook type thing as well. Okay, and again, we've got some more sticker dots. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. The old Rice Krispies, peanut butter. Oh my goodness, vintage Nestle. Oh my god, this makes me want to make a chocolate journal. Look at this. Old Coke with hot dogs. Oh my goodness, old Ready Whip. Now they're just seriously cool. Mmm. Sliced bread. Corn flakes. Wow. So that was a whole pack. And what else? Uh huh. Rumored Flower Letter is the name of this. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that this is a paper pack and a thick one at that. So if you're doing junk journaling, art journaling, you know, oh my goodness, look at this beautiful sleeve that it comes on it. So if you're doing any mixed media or paper crafts, I mean, this stuff, I hate to tear it, guys, so I'm going to be careful. I hope you don't mind. This stuff is just great. Like I said, um, the prices are insane. It all came in here with a week, within a week. Oops. Oh, that's okay. It came off easy anyway. But look, you can like reuse this. Okay. Astronomics. Rumored flower letter, it's called. And it's a bunch of different papers. Oh, wow. This would be great for like a celestial. Some of it. Oh, Book of Shadows, Black Hat. So some of this looks celestial or witchy, but some of it's just vintage. Could be woodland. There's maps. Oh, this is so cool. Lots of black hats. Yay. Look at that. That is a lot of paper. Ooh, was that astrological? I thought I saw. Scorpio for a second. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Haha, <laughs> always catches my eye. Cancer Scorpio Leo. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, I got more of those gold tinged stickers. I was looking at them last night. I just cannot believe. This is a different um, theme. The last one I got was more like art, I think. So it had all different kind of arts. And this one, sometimes I don't have the titles on the back, so I honestly can't remember. Sorry. This looks more like a correspondence type because it has like um, envelopes and ink wells and feather quills and glasses and book spines and journals that open and envelopes. Ooh, and a magnifying glass and tape. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? To send, you know, with happy mail or, again, to make journals or what have you. This is, oh, the Age of Steam. So, I think this is maybe some steampunk I got. What? Oh, wow, what is that? Look, it's an envelope. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that amazing? It comes in an envelope. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It says, have a good day, but you can always cover that or even that, and you can cover that and reuse that and have like a little thing in your journal. Oh, wow, this looks like it's on vellum. If anybody has tips on exactly things that you can use for vellum, besides, of course, tucking them in the pockets, let me know, please. Oh, look how gorgeous the coloring is on this. So, I think some of them might be paper and some are vellum. Yeah. Because it does look like some are paper. Yeah. And some are vellum. But look at this. Oh, so you have like a paper version and a vellum version. Oh my god, look at that. Just gorgeous. So, it looks to me like they have like a paper version of a design. And then, oh, a map. And then a vellum version. Just sumptuous. Uh, map of London. 
Wow. Oh, that would be so cool. I was thinking about doing a Sherlock Holmes one. So Map of London would, you know, come in handy for that. So gorgeous. Isn't that wonderful? Again, I don't remember the prices on some of these, but a lot of them are seriously 89 cents, 189 I mean, under $3. It's crazy. Okay, I think I might have accidentally got two of these. Because sometimes I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's more than one shop that advertises on here. So how they all come together at the same time, I have no idea. And maybe they displayed them differently and I didn't realize because I can't. Or I could have just accidentally ordered two different ones. Oh, and this is two packs in one. And the sticker quality is amazing. It's not thin at all. Oh, wow. So we got like croissant and books, candles, pumpkins, vintage telephone, postcards, typewriter book, old alarm clock. This might be like a book or writer's theme, which is awesome. Because I wanted to do one of those as well. Coffee and latte. Letters. So amazing. An old-fashioned camera. More coffee. A tag. <laughs> we junk journalers know what that is, huh? Candle. Oh, this is so neat. Sweater. That would be good for a hygge type journal. So gorgeous. And that's one of the packs in there. Here's the other. So some of these do have like two packs in them. So you buy it and for some reason there are two sets of stickers in there. Not that I'm going to be complaining, right? Oh, can't find the end on this. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah. So I'm going to see if the theme is a little different on these or... Yes, yeah, so we have like books. Uh... And I'll de delivering a letter, some globes, oh, books and coffee. There's anything better than books and coffee? I think not. Well, maybe journaling, journaling and paper crafts, right? Typewriter, candle. Oh, I love these. Old-fashioned camera, books. Looks like a mood ring from the 70s. Ah, oh, oh, this might be like a new agey kind of mystical type thing like a hogwarts maybe sort of that maybe yeah uh oh, but a lot of just plain old stardust a lot of plain like i shouldn't say plain because it's gorgeous books essence of dittany hmm don't know what that is but just really cute and such a variety your diary, Essence of Astronomy. So yeah, this is kind of like a Hogwarts type, I think, maybe. Maybe. Just love it. So pretty. Of course, coffee and learning and backpacks. Awesome. Okay, I saw this one thing demonstrated some on someone's Tamu haul. Um, it, only for... Um, the addresses that are thermal, I think it's called thermal transfer or something. I accidentally got two of them. And it's a thermal paper correction fluid. So I think you like, oh wait, that's a knife end. Oh no. Oh, you know what? No, I don't think I did get two. I think one comes with a knife and one, no wait, no, that can't be right. Ah, here it is. It like erases the information. So let me see if it does it on one of these. Hmm, not working. But, like, for addresses, well, I guess it lessened it a little bit, but I saw somebody do it um, on YouTube, and it completely erased the address. For, like, thermal printers, it just went, it completely, you went like this in it, and it completely erased it. And I guess it's fading it. You know, for, like, security's sake, like, you know, if you want to, to a hole and you don't feel like pulling out the big black 
marker, you know, you could just do this. Now, when the person did it, it literally went invisible right away. So, I don't know. It was real cheap. So, there's that on one end and a an exacto knife on the other. And I must have accidentally ordered two. Either I accidentally ordered two or there was two in the pack. So, that might be interesting. Um, I got a wax seal of a heart. Now, and it comes with a handle. It's plastic, but hey, it works. You don't need a fancy wooden handle to do this stuff, which I have that. But look at that. It's like dimensional diamonds. Isn't that cool? So I can't wait to try that. And I think the handle, you could pick like blue or pink, but I picked pink. I had wanted a stamp like this for Christmas, and I didn't get it. And so I was so excited to see Tamu had it. It's like a plaid, and I wanted this for like Christmas time. You know, like if you want to do a buffalo plaid or something in the background for like a, a cozy Christmas. Excuse me, cozy Christmas or mountain theme. Look at that. That's a nice stamp. Okay, what else do we got? More paper packs. These kind of look um run of the mill. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but hey heck. Sometimes people like to pass things over in an unbagging or an unboxing, like, oh well you've seen that, and I'm like, no, no, I want to see. So okay. Just in case some of you haven't seen these type of things, you can get them on Amazon, but they're insanely cheap one to know. See, they're like little, like graph paper, uh, color invoices, like reproductions, library cards even. Oh, this is even better than I thought. There's actually library cards. So these are really cool and neutral. Great for collages. And here's another one. I can't believe I still have stuff to, um, to show you guys. I mean, look at this. this. I still have this to do, and I have two bags. So hopefully my phone won't poop out on this. And if so, I'm sorry, and it'll just be a part three, right? So these have, like, wrinkled and textured pages. It almost looks like sand or paper or stone in different sizes. So these are real thin, but again, good for collaging. Okay, um, and I have another stamp. Let's see. This is, I think, just like background um, postal stuff. Like, you know, sometimes if you're making an OTC, a bookmark, or you're doing a variety of stampings, you just kind of want something for the background. So, I wanted this. Or to make even, like, you know, like the Tim Holtz reproduction rice paper. Now I know why people do this when I'm bagging, and then it aggravates me, because sometimes you cannot tell where the end is. And I hate to cut them sometimes, because these are really cool and reusable. So sometimes, uh, I tore it, oh well, wherever possible, I try to reuse things, like most of us junk generators, you know. If not for um, actual crafts, you can use them for storage. So this is just kind of a, you know, background stamp. I'm not sure if that's like a train thing. You know, just stamps and just kind of background text and what have you. Right. Oh, deco stickers. These look like book spines. Yes, they are. I think so. I've been wanting to do like a book and cats or book and coffee or just books journal for a while. Oh, isn't that holder cute? But look at these. They're all book spines. Look at that. Oh. So beautiful. They're like vellum. Charles Ver Gardner versus English costume. Classic myths and legends. Oh. Just so pretty. It's cool, huh? Bluebird. Wow. Just so impressive. So many interesting things. It's inspiring just to look at. Because you think, what can I make with these? <laughs> okay. And then this little... I'm not sure. It's a little box, obviously. But some of these things I cannot remember what I got. I'd have to actually look on my order and see. Ooh. Oh, oh, unfortunately, some in here are 
looks like some are crumpled a little. But if I re recall, this thing was like 89 cents. They're reproduction stamps. Pretty neat, right? But like I said, unfortunately, a couple of them are crumpled. But the majority of them look like they're in good condition. And of course, you know, we tend to use rumpled stuff anyway with junk journaling. And by the time we put distress ink on the ends. So that is cool. Okay, there's another small box. Let me see what's in here. Oh, I think these are like mini reproductions of ads. Yeah. Look at that. Mini reproductions of like food ads. Oh, more, not just food, I guess. Shredded wheat, old cornflakes, oh, Budweiser. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Oh, an old Kodak. Cracker Jack, remember those? You get a prize inside. Oh my goodness. Memory lane here. Oh my goodness, somebody made an old book and poster from the original Titanic. Oh my gosh. Ovaltine. Speed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Old Maybelline. Chips Ahoy, get out. This is just insane. But look at all these reproductions. Oh, so cool for like a vintage journal, huh? <laughs> Banquet Popeye. Wow. I remember those. I still got stuff, guys. Can you believe this? And all of this, I think, was less than $40. Yeah, insane, right? Label Grocery Store um, Series. Oh, labels. Yeah, I have some, but hey, not like this. Oh, wow. These are pretty. Some are just plain. Some you could use for like botany or an explorer's journal. Wow, these are pretty. Different sizes. And shapes. Nice. Wow, big old triangle. Look at that, guys. Lots of like butterflies and stuff. Cool. I don't know why they call it a grocery store series because most of this looks like botany. Okay, what do we got? Ah, none. I don't have like any Victorian none. Really? And I thought, oh, that would be cool to get. I saw somebody, again, with their Temu haul. This is called Mr. Modern. And a bunch of handsome, old-fashioned guys with top hats or regular hats and canes and oh, valises and books. Cool. This would be cool for a Sherlock Holmes type of video. Cool. All these different hats, like bowlers and Hamburgs and... Or is that a Hamburg? Oh, like writing. Very nice. And then I have a... With women. Counterpart. Don't have many of these either. Okay, this is what the women look like. Oh. oh no, some of them are stuck. These are stickers, by the way. Oh well, for all, as many as you get, even if a couple are stuck, that's fine. So we have women with fans and teacups, women with umbrellas. Very nice. Very pretty. These are kind of like a vellum sticker. Again, very sturdy. Now, I have a coffee diary kit, but let me see what's in here. I've already cut this so you didn't have to wait. Oh, okay. More rubber stamps. Like I said in the last video, I'm going to do a, a video where I show you how these all stamp out. 
but I didn't. I wanted this for, I'm doing an explorer journal. And like as, as if this guy's an explorer and I needed some more trees. But how beautiful is that? And then, let's see what this one is. Oh, cool. This is kind of like an architect type um, version of books, an apple, pencils, and a globe. I thought, oh, that would be cool for an explorer. Pretty neat, huh? Again, I believe this was less than two dollars. Okay, and finally, and I'm surprised that my phone didn't crap out. Hooray! This is an actual coffee diary, like mini kit, and I believe this was only four ninety five. If I'm recalling correctly, and it says it has two hundred pieces in it. Uh, I was hoping to be able to save this. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll... And there's vellum. It's wrapped in vellum, so you could use that. Let's see. I want to be careful I don't tear anything. Oh, wow. Like I said, all of this was only $4.95. So we got beautiful, clear, like, frame stamps. I'm sorry, stickers. Wow. Coffee-themed. Oh. I just did a coffee journal. If you haven't seen my flip through, you have to. It's huge. I've been wanting to make another one, but a smaller version. Oh, look. It looks like coffee stained papers. Uh, oh, this is so nice. Look, guys. Oh, little note. That is so great to glue into a journal. So there's actually, you know, line journaling space. Looks like ads and tags and labels. <laughs> This is just so exciting and fun. I cannot wait to start playing with this stuff. I was uh, waiting so I could do an um, um, unbagging for you guys. I'm like, ah, I cannot wait. <laughs> but wait, I did. So I hope you, you guys are enjoying this. I know I love seeing the Timu hauls. That's what kind of had me go down the rabbit hole and try it myself. So cool. So chocolate. And of course, there's some sweets. So it's not like pure 100% coffee, but they're like little coffee stains. Oh, I'm doing a bee journal. Put those to the side. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'm always, I also have a bee journal in progress I didn't finish from last year. So many projects, a little time. What can be better than a taste of freshly brewed coffee? Amen. But look at this, you know. The edges, you know, are regular or deckled. They're just so gorgeous. And there's little tags in here that actually have holes so you can, you know, just, ah, oh, so much. And then it even comes with, you guessed it, a little bag of more stickers. Oh, and they're like vellum. Oh, gosh, guys, look at this. I think they're stickers. Yeah, they're not rub ones. But look. Oh, maybe coffee. Oh, heck yeah. Like stained doilies and cups. Latte art, I mean, oh, cafe, chalkboard, oh geez, even a Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, how gorgeous is this? I mean, you cannot beat the prices. I just cannot wait to play. This would be so great for coffee-themed ATCs, too, or ACEOs. Oh, ATCs, by the way, if you don't know, are artist trading cards. And they're the standard size of two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And an ACEO is the same thing as an ATC, except artist trading cards are usually where you trade with other artists. An ACEO is an artist um, CEO. What does that stand for? Artist something. I can't even remember what ACEO went. Uh, menopause brain. But those are cards that you supposedly sell. I mean, they're the same size and everything. So semantics. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this unbagging, and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. I never tell people to do that, but it occurred to me, maybe I should. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unbagging. I had so much fun, and I cannot wait to play. And so I'm going to be back with um, showing how the stamps had worked. I have a little Dollar Tree haul of stickers, show you some works in progress, and things like that. So take care, and I hope you're having a great crafty day. Bye-bye for now.